What's up everyone? Once again here from the north coast of the Dominican Republic. Today we're going to be making a video around Cabarete where our friends the delightful travelers live, Anna and Trevor. So the day that we arrived we did film this beach, the main beach here in Cabarete, but it was a sunset time so we didn't show that much. We're also going to be heading to some other areas. We're going to be staying at another villa down there somewhere and there's some other beaches. And where are we going to be heading now to eat? Yeah, so if we have enough time, we might go to a place called Front Loop. Front Loop. Front Loop, like like Fruit Loops, the cereal if you're from North America. <laughs> but Front Loop. Uh, but if we run out of time, because we've got to be at the villa, I think by one, maybe we'll get a smoothie and then like order food. Yeah, sounds we'll good. We'll see. You know, if it's slow paced life here, beach life. <laughs> <laughs> So I mentioned in that previous video that we filmed here that what we like the most about Cabarete Beach is that you can sit right on the sand. There's a bunch of different restaurants and bars like this. So pretty much every day we've been having dinner, enjoying the happy hours. Yeah, the happy hours are the best. <laughs> it's really laid back and not so busy here. I mean, today's a Saturday and it is almost midday and there's really not that many people around at all. So we're just cutting into the main road because we actually run out of money. We need to go to the bank and ATM. Always difficult to cross the road, Trevor. Yeah, it's maybe our least favorite thing is that they don't stop for pedestrians. I mean, that's just how it is here, but we'll go in a sec. All right, there we out. go. So the bank that we're going to is Scotia Bank. They haven't been charging us any fees around the Dominican Republic, so seems like a good one. This is the front loop place. Pretty cool shaded area. I think it's all of this. So we haven't been here yet. You got a little pool there. So do they still have the breakfast options at 11.20? They have breakfast all, all day. day breakfast. Oh, it says that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right there. Yeah, I missed that part. <laughs> no, I love places with all day breakfast. It's hard to find. Yeah, believe it or not, it's very hard to find. Yeah, I'm thinking I might go for um, a waffle. Waffle with fruits and syrup or honey. 300. You know what you're getting? Uh, I think I'll get the egg wrap. Egg wrap? Yeah. What about you guys? Same. An Anna's had the egg wrap before. The egg wrap is the one I always get. It's pretty basic. It's just like literally scrambled eggs, uh, avocado oh. and cheese and that's it. There's no sauce or anything but I usually just dip it in hot sauce. It's pretty <laughs> good. We'll get a side of bacon or something too. Yeah. Plus we got a bloody Caesar. Mm -hmm. I wonder if anyone watching knows what a bloody Caesar is. I don't know what that is. <laughs> is that alcohol? Canadians watching will know what that is. <laughs> so it is a it is alcohol. It's like um, a lot of people know what a Bloody Mary is. So that's made with tomato juice or some vodka in there. And there's that word I can barely say, Worcestershire. How do we say that? Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Yeah. Maybe. The, but the Caesar is a Canadian kind of take on it. So instead of tomato juice, it's made with clamato juice, with, which is 
clam juice. It sounds, sounds disgusting. Dis sounds disgusting, but it's not. It's not. There's no <laughs> fish taste. There's no clam taste. <laughs> So that's the drink you were talking about. Yeah, check it out. What's <laughs> on the? Is that sugar? Uh, it, usually oh, it's Caesar or like a like a salt, like a Caesar salt. Celery salt. Celery salt. Celery yeah. Salt. But I'll I think it. that might just be regular salt. It's <laughs> Whoa, mm -hmm. it's definitely just regular salt with some pepper, but it's good. Canadians have this when they're really hungover. <laughs> not just that though. They are do are you hungover? No, I'm not hungover. I was gonna say <laughs> I'm not hungover. So the portion size looks really good. I also got a side of bacon, which I think is 200 extra. And these guys' wraps all look great too. Yeah, and some hot sauce on there. Nice. Some avocado in there, right? Yeah, avocado, cheese, egg. Yours the same? Same thing. So we've checked into our new accommodation now and me and Carol didn't realize just how outrageous this place was going to be. Because look at this, we thought it was like a little beach villa. The place is like a full on mansion. From here it kind of looks like three floors, but it's just two. It's just because the first floor, the ceiling is so high. And then got a pretty big pool. Almost kind of feels like we're in some mini resort. So you got the deck chairs there. Even the plants are massive here. Big, beautiful, tropical plants. And there's a water slide. And then on this side, there's like a mini hot tub. Might get in there later on. Kind of has a waterfall effect going on. And then a cool area on the outside. Got a barbecue there. And then I'll just show you the place quickly. Carol's chilling. Yeah, I like this. I've been sat here for the last three hours since we arrived. Yeah, it's really, really comfortable. <laughs> it's kind of like a luxury cinema seat. You have like the things there for big drinks, glasses. And through here is an area where they were working on the laptops and then an absolutely massive kitchen. And this is the top floor. So it's also like a little living room area, another big TV. And I only just realized there's a kitchen here, a separate kitchen. Yeah, second kitchen and we have uh, an elevator. It's the first time that we stay in a place that has an elevator. You can go up with, with, uh, by the stairs, it's not a big deal, but they have that option too. Yeah, so Anna and Trevor actually arranged this and they'll have like the full mansion tour in their video. We're just tagging along since we're visiting them. And this is gonna be our bedroom. Yeah. My first time seeing it. Really nice too. I guess this way is the, the bathroom. Yeah, also really good. Two sinks. Very, very fancy. And last but not least, the balcony area. Also a huge balcony. So we're right near the beach. This is right next to a part called the Kite Beach. You can actually see all the kites around here now. It's really windy on this side. Now. Wow. Yeah, Good many night. of them. So apparently this is one of like the best places in the world to do kite surfing. There's a famous place in the northeast of Brazil, right, that has kite surfing. Yeah, I think uh, many... Whoa, Oops. one second. <laughs> Whoa, 
be flu. I don't know how they don't hit each other. Yeah. I anyway, could, sorry. <laughs> I couldn't do that, but it, I think it's really nice. And in Brazil, like you said, in the northeast coast, we have many places, especially in the state of Ceará, we have many kite surfing places. I think some of the best ones in the world, just like here in Cabaret. And if you keep going down the coast, apparently there's like some laid back surf beach called Encuentro. I think that's how you say it. And I think we're going to go there in this video tomorrow, but in this video, and hopefully if the waves are good, I'm finally going to surf again. I think it's been over a year since I tried surfing, so yeah, I really want to do it here in the DR. Playa Encuentro now, the surf beach. And you guys said this is like a Tulum kind of beach. Yeah, welcome to the uh, hipster part of Cabarete. <laughs> this is Encuentro, so it's like a big surfing community, like actual surfing, not windsurfing and uh, kite surfing. So uh, yeah, this place is super cool. Comes like a friend of ours, Gabby. <laughs> yeah, you can already see the surfboards here. Surfboard rentals. Yeah, yeah, we're just leaving. Yeah, this is already our kind of vibe, right? Yeah, I really like it. And it also reminds me of the place in the Philippines, in Anido, the Leo Beach. Yeah, because that had these kind of trees. Yeah, yeah, very, very nice place. So the girl that we ran into back there said the waves were good in the morning. Said now that it's, uh, it's a bit messy. We'll see if I'm going to surf or not. I'm not sure if they're good anymore. Trees are pretty cool, huh? I always forget about the trees, like the way they look. Yeah, that's what we were just saying, like... It's really cool. Did you ever go to Leo in El Nido, Leo Beach? Yeah, uh, yeah, but it was closed during the lockdown. <laughs> but it was kind of like this. It had this kind of vibe, yeah. But this is what's cool about this is it's all like untouched beach, just like northern, north, like rugged coast. It's all sand, and like no one here. Like, well, people here, but the minute you walk five minutes that way, there's no one on the beach. Yeah, it seems to just be mainly a surface. gonna try surfing yeah I went to one of the stores it's like $15 and that includes everything the rash guard and they also give me some little shoes here mm -hmm. and I don't know if this surfboard is good for me but <laughs> we'll see how it goes I haven't surfed in over a year I just want to be able to stand up and that's it I'll be happy the waves look pretty good here though so yeah we'll just see how it goes good luck <laughs>
How are you doing? <laughs> Getting my ass kicked. Yeah. I got a lot of waves though. Yeah, yeah. I, I was able to film a few. Oh yeah? Uh, yeah, you did really good. I think I haven't finished yet. I'm going for uh, round two. Yeah, we don't have much time left. No, he said I could stay longer. Okay. Same price. Sleep like a baby. That is a full body workout. It's like cardio, all your muscles. But I've never gotten in so many waves before. This is like perfect for beginners. Yeah. Doesn't like smash you too hard. And it kind of like gradually takes you for quite a while. Really good. back on the main beach in Cabarete, right near where the kite surfers were. But there's not that many right now. And we're gonna walk back to the restaurant area where we were in the beginning of the video. I think it's like a 15 minute walk there. We're going for the happy hour. It's the perfect happy hour spot. So it's all the way in that corner somewhere. Unfortunately, it will be our last happy hour. We've kind of gotten used to this place now because tomorrow we're gonna be going on another little adventure in the car and staying in a different place, a unique place. to mojitos again but they have no tables we kind of come real late i think on a sunday yeah it's a sunday so it gets more busy because of the locals we'll find a cool spot though lots of options so it's pretty easy to find a place what's this bar called uh this one is kahuna, kahuna. yeah we came here because mojitos was busy yeah, really like bigger. why is this one so empty and that one's not? Well, he knows it's just like an institution here. Everybody goes there. And it's Sunday. Sunday, so like, yeah, it's Sunday. The Dominicans like come from Santiago, some from Santo Domingo. It's just a famous place. It's yeah. a famous place even for the Dominicans around, which is super cool because everyone goes there. And the one next to it called Ojo, which I think we walked through. But uh, this one's good too. I mean, they're all, it's happy hour all around wherever you go. So. Yeah, just not the beer. Not the beer, but at the same time, I think it's like 200 pesos, something like that. So what, three dollars, four dollars. So it's not too bad. But it used to be cheaper a couple of years ago for Monday. <laughs> yeah. Carol's always getting the happy hour though. Yeah, two for one, yeah. mojito. And I don't think I've shown this in the videos yet. Uh, I've been having this beer now, Bohemia or Bohemia. So before I was getting the Presidente, like you guys, right? Get the yeah. light. The light, light one. The Presidente lights. I'm thinking that I like this more now. We actually have Bohemia in uh, Brazil, but I don't think it's this same uh, company. I think it's a different one. Yeah, that one's stronger, right? Like yeah, it's, it's it has a stronger taste. Stronger taste, but I think it's only 5%, so it's like a normal uh, beer, but uh, it does have a stronger taste. So This one's super light. This <laughs> we call the good old beach beer. 